Hey guys, how you doing? Hope everything is well. Hope you're having good holidays. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. And this week I'm just going to sum up and just talk to you guys, do a little bit of a vlog here. There's really no homebrewing going on at the moment. I've been extremely busy. Um, so let's just sum up the year and talk about some things I got for Christmas. And yes, I know there's a hookah behind me. I know I, I know it's there. I know you can see it. Uh, it is only used for this stuff here, which is shisha, which is a apple flavored tobacco. Okay. And I don't smoke this very often at all, but I have it. In fact, I've had this jar of it for a number of years, actually. Right? So you can see it here. It's not, it's not marijuana. <laughs> okay. It's definitely not. If you know what marijuana looks like, that's not it. So, yeah. So that's what it's used for. So, smells amazing, by the way. Mmm. I was going to light one for the video, but I thought, nah, I, I won't bother because it's... I have to clean it out and everything. I don't know when the last time I used it was. Anyway, and I do have a stain on my shirt. Yes, I know. Because as I was coming down the stairs, I had a Caesar. And I tripped over down the last step. I missed the last step and spilt it all over myself. I don't really care. I'm not changing a shirt just for that. I'll put it in the wash after this video. Anyway, so now that I got all that house cleaning out of the way, I want to uh, so show you guys a couple of things I got for Christmas. And I, I'm not going to bring everything out. And, you know, my wife, uh, we don't usually buy for each other on Christmas. We generally concentrate on the kids. Um, because as far as my wife and I are concerned, we can we can end, always buy each other things. It doesn't have to be on Christmas. But um, this year she did indulge a little bit and buy me some things. So I, I think I have to go out on Boxing Day week and get her something. <laughs> She's not expecting anything. So that's... Uh, and I know she doesn't watch this, these videos, so I'm not worried about spoiling the surprise. Anyway, I'm a pretty easy guy to buy for when it comes to being a husband. She knows all she has to do is go into some sort of a liquor store and just pick stuff all randomly out. Although I'm sure it wasn't randomly done. One of the things she did buy me, though, was a big thing of chocolates, which is empty. I took some of them out, but I ate most of them, so I'm a bit of a sucker for chocolate. And uh, she bought me um, a bunch of different beers and some different uh, mead. Uh, she bought me two bottles of different kinds of mead. Actually, um, the one I already drank, it's a, it was a peach-flavored mead, which is basically a fruit mead, which is a melomel. Um, it doesn't say that on the can. It just says mead. But, of course, us homebrewers, we know the difference. It's basic, basically melomel. And um, just a whole bunch of stuff. I'll just show you a couple of the things that she picked up for me. Um, and I haven't heard of this, but I don't even... This is not not... This is just the color of the bottle. This isn't the color of whatever's in it. What even is this? It's... Well, it's obviously beer. And uh, old... What's it say? Old Tomo... Tomorrow? Oh, Old Tomorrow. Oh, I didn't even know that's what it said. But there's a th big blurb on the back and everything. I'll read it when I open it. So there's one of them, and, you know, she bought me, what are those things? Well, here's this one here. This is a um, chocolate um, stout. You get in the French side? No. Chocolate stout. And let me just take it out of the box. You know when it's in a box, it's... When it's in a box, it's pretty special stuff. Um, yeah, there it is. 10% ABV chocolate stout, and that's going to be opened on a night when... You know, obviously, once it's opened, I'm going to want to finish it. So that's a session right there. That and then bed. But the other thing she bought me was, um, it's this is empty, but it's a um, 12-year-old single malt scotch. And um, I'll show you the bottle. Now, I don't usually drink the scotch very often. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> a little bit of panic there. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I've already taken a, a little sample of it, obviously, um, the other day. But um, 12 years old, uh, I don't know, I think it's 40%. Um, a single malt, and apparently it was very expensive. I don't know. 
how much it was. I would say 60, 70 bucks for this bottle, just to guess. So anyway, she got me some other stuff and I don't want to go on and on and on, but what I do want to do, got some ice in here and it's not, I just drank something with Caesar out of it, so it's not perfectly clean, but just take the water out of that and let's just pour a little bit. Now this, this is why I didn't open this until the video was rolling because I want to capture the sound of this. Okay, everybody quiet. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Let's do that again. All right. Captured. If you want to record that onto your computer and use it somewhere, there you have it. From the real deal. Okay. I'm just going to pour a little bit of this, not much. And I already had a sample of it with uh, without ice, which is called neat. There's different styles of drinking this, and when you drink it neat, that means you drink it straight with no ice, nothing. And um, I, did, I did that. Of course, when you you pay that much for a bottle of something like that, you got to do it right. But today I'm not going to drink it neat. I might have got a little bit of ice in here. Just going to take a little bit there, just like that. That's all. That's going to do, do me for the rest. Of, that's it. This bottle goes in the cupboard for future use okay because again i don't generally drink heavy stuff and um i'll just put it back in the container here and my wife doesn't particularly like when i drink scotch either so she was very kind to do that for me and i thank her very much and i think i'm going to go out and get her a laptop she's got all she has is an ipad and the thing is like breaking down the speakers don't work in it she has to plug an external speaker in and the microphone doesn't work she can't like record things and I again I didn't know she was buying me anything I thought just concentrate on the kids and we're getting a dishwasher which is being delivered tomorrow so I thought that was it but no apparently not so I'm gonna I know you can get laptops for pretty cheap especially now that probably they're all on sale so um Anyway, that's that's what I'm going to do. And again, I'm not worried about spoiling a surprise because she can't hear me and she doesn't watch these things. So, all right, let's take a sip of this and let's talk a little bit more about this year's journey through the homebrew Wednesdays and the brewing and all this stuff. Just talk a little bit. And I got a little uh, segment coming up soon. Just a couple of shout outs that I want to do and thank yous. So anyway, let me try this before it, the my ice all melts. I'm shaking. <laughs> it's okay. There you go. I'll set that over there. That's that can be left there. It'll last me two hours. That anyway. Um. <sighs> nothing's brewing right now. I'm just gonna say, you know, I hope you had a merry Christmas and or whatever it is that you celebrate. And uh, happy New Year. I know some people celebrate at different times and whatnot, so I'm sensitive to that. Um, geez, I just have, hold, I got another one of those. Hmm. That's really good. Okay, let's put it over there further away than it was before. Get away! <laughs> it's good stuff. Um, yeah, there wasn't anything else. I mean, she, oh, she bought me beef jerky. Three big, hang on, well, I won't get it. Three big bags of beef jerky. They were probably about 10 bucks each. Different flavors. I got them over there. I've already eaten one of them. I've had a really cool year. Um, I've had my ups and my downs. I'm not going to lie to you guys, okay? Everyone does. Nothing particularly drastic. Just the normal stuff that everyone goes through. You know, sometimes you're low on cash. Sometimes the job situation isn't what, it's just what you'd like it to be. Um, you know, um, sometimes you just, you know, you get sick or you don't feel well or somebody passes away and you're sad or, you know, whatever. It's, it's the same stuff, but all in all, it's been a really cool year. And on the upside of things, I've met some really cool people, um, people who have come from all over the planet, basically, to come up and visit and, and spend some time here. And that has been 
spectacular. This has probably been one of the most uh, cool years in a long time in, that, in, the, in the fact that I've had the pleasure of doing things, some things that I've never done before. And what I mean by that is meeting people that I've met online that became friends and that we finally, after years, got to, to meet up. And, um, and there's even been a couple of people who've come up that I didn't know that came and, and visited and brought stuff and we hung out and went and got some food and stuff. So that part of the year has been really spectacular. Um, my kids are doing well. Um, everything is great. It's just, you know, everyone's got their, you know, their ups and downs and I, I'm no different. But it's been a great year. And as far as um, brewing goes, I have to say that I have been really slacking in the brewing department. Um, you know, be because of the amount of things that have gone on this year and the different things that I've dealt with that I haven't dealt with before. And, you know, I mean, you know, just it's been a weird year. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to actually concentrate on brewing special beers. I have been mostly doing, at least for the past few months anyway, um, kits. Um, and again, you know, you could ask the question, well, why does he do those kits? Why doesn't he just buy beer? Like, you know, I, I'll say it again because people are new to this channel and they may not know that beer is very expensive in some parts of the world. And if I want to have a beer, I have to basically make it because to buy beer here is just not... It's not something I enjoy doing. It's too expensive. So I'm better off making it even if it's from a simple beer kit. And I, I'll say this until the cows come home. If you're a good home brewer and you buy fresh ingredients, you can make beer easily uh, from these simple beer kits and it tastes fine. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm just stopped there. I'm just going to stop with that. And that's my experience anyway. Um, so brewing wise it's been it's been weird it's been kind of slacking a little bit so i hope to change that one thing that i am going to make sure that i do for next year and this is kind of a new year's resolution one of them anyway um is uh, do more kitchen videos and i know i've said this before but now i have the means to do that because um when my wife and i i think i went through this last week i don't know i can't remember what the hell i talked about last week but anyway um when we first moved in, I'll just keep it short, just in case I'm repeating myself. First thing we bought was a dishwasher. Neither of us like doing dishes. We hate doing dishes. We never wanted, and I can't stand at the sink for very long because my back gets really sore. Um, and yeah, we've got kids, but they don't like doing dishes. And they, they grew up with a dishwasher. The dishwasher that we had uh, conked out last year. So I said, okay, family, we're gonna do dishes. We're gonna just take it upon ourselves to do them by hand. Well, that didn't work. I hate doing them. My wife hates doing them. My kids hate doing them. So it's hard to keep up. Anyways, so that's why we're getting a dishwasher for Christmas and it's being delivered. That's going to make a big difference as, in as far as the kitchen and the organization of things in there where I'm going to be able to just go in, set up a couple cameras and a mic. Oh, it's okay. It's just my phone telling me the battery is charged. S set up a couple cameras and a mic and, and shoot kitchen cooking videos. That's what I really I enjoy. The people on YouTube are getting a lot of views on their cooking series, series that they do. And I think that's really something that I would like to do. And it goes it goes well with beer and then brewing too, because you can mix the two. And I love food and I love to cook. So I absolutely am absolutely promising myself and you guys that the Craig's Kitchen videos will start to become more, sorry, more, um, you know, often, done more often. Because I, food is one thing that you can't go wrong with if it's done relatively properly, you know. Um, I know on my live broadcast, which is another topic, by the way, this video might be a little long, and I don't really, I don't really care. Um, I'm not going to sit and cut and edit this thing. This is the last video of 2015, so it can be as long as it wants. Um, uh, what was I gonna, oh yeah, um, 
whenever I talk about food on my live broadcast, the chat room just goes, you know, it goes nuts because everyone loves food. Everyone loves to talk about food. I don't think anybody really gets enough food because it seems as though as soon as you talk about food, people just go, oh yeah, food. Yeah. And they talk about what they like, what they don't like, different combinations of food. Food is exciting. And um, I think I think that's something that I need to concentrate on in this channel. Not to take away from the home brewing, because you know what? Home brewing is what got this channel to where it is. So home brewing will never fall by the wayside. Um, it, it's it's the it just means so much to me that the channel has grown the way it has, and that I have the support that I have from you guys. Um, I mean, this is so much fun. You have no idea, unless you make your own videos, which maybe you do, but if you don't, you have no idea what it's like to sit in front of this camera and do this, or do that, or do whatever it is I'm doing in front of the camera. It's cooking, cleaning, well, uh, brewing, cleaning, I don't clean, but you want to watch me clean? <laughs> Uh, you know, in front of the camera, and it, knowing that when I post it on YouTube, you guys are going to like it, for the most part, anyway. And that's a really an awesome feeling. I, I don't know what I would do if I hadn't started up on YouTube. I really don't know what I would do. I spent years behind the camera, right, on that side of the camera, over there, looking through the camera, because I was, I'm a videographer, and I've done many, many, many uh, shoots, weddings, bar mitzvahs, you know, birthdays. Uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm an editor and a videographer. So that's what I've been doing most of my life. And it was finally, you know, I never wanted to be on camera. I was like, nope, nope, I own the camera. I'll decide which way it points, you know, kind of thing. And it was a really big decision for me to finally decide, okay, I'm going to turn the camera around and point it towards me. And I'm going to do things. I'm going to do stuff on YouTube. I'm going to film myself brewing. I'm going to film myself cooking. I'm going to film myself playing the drums or singing or whatever. Well, you know, I mean, you only live once, right? So, and I'm pushing, I'm, next month I'm turning 50. 50 years old. January 27th of uh, 2016 is my 50th birthday. And um, I'm thinking to myself, you know what, like, you know, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't like to think that time is running out, but, like, if I'm going to go skydiving, I better do that real quick, <laughs> you know, although you're not, I don't think you're going to see me doing that anytime soon, I don't even like getting on an airplane, never mind jumping out of one, <laughs> so anyway, this stuff's making me feel kind of silly, all right, well, cheers, guys. Mm. This is something you don't chug. I don't know, some people do it, but I will not do that. I'm not that crazy. Um, so yeah, you know, anyway, my point is, is that I'm, I have um, uh, much more cooking to do on here. So I, if you like my cooking videos, and you know what, I get comments all the time. More Craig's Kitchen, more Craig's Kitchen, more Craig. And with the kitchen the way it's going to be, because we're also, I've got the switch plates off, I have paint. We're gonna. Be, I'm gonna be painting the kitchen once I get the dishwasher. We're selling our kitchen table and chairs, and so we can make room for the dishwasher. Because in case you haven't noticed, I've been in a pretty small house. My house is tiny, right? And I don't. I'm not afraid to say that. I don't mind a small house. You just le learn to live in the with the means that you have and the size of you know house that you've got. So getting rid of one thing so we can get another thing is probably one of the things that we do quite often. Um, once all that is said and done, uh, filming in the kitchen is going to happen often, whether it's brewing, cooking, and even just these Homebrew Wednesday videos so that I can get out of this damn dungeon once in a while and, you know, film somewhere else in the house. The live broadcast. For those of you who um, watch it or have seen it, you know what it's about. It's nothing big, right? It's just like a little Friday night radio station kind of thing. Um, for those of you who haven't watched it, I understand. Not everybody can stay up, you know, past 10 o'clock on a Friday night. Um, 
to sit there and watch some guys spin tunes or whatever and talk and take Skype calls or whatever. Completely understand it. I've given out the link many, many, many times. So those of you who want to watch it, do watch it. And those of you who don't, don't. It's called freedom of choice. Okay? Uh, but I will say one thing. I've been doing that for five years. And every Friday night, give or take a few. Um, and I would never, ever go back. That live broadcast has brought so much into my online life, let's just say. I have met none of the people, well, maybe most of the people who I met this year in person, I would not have had the pleasure of becoming friends with and meeting um, in person if it weren't for my live broadcast. Um, because it's different from doing YouTube. I mean, you know, when you do YouTube, you, you make a video, you upload it, you post it, and people watch it, and then you read the comments and you can interact. But a live broadcast is you're live. You're interacting directly with your audience. And that, that, then, you know, you can, people call in and you talk to them on Skype and, you know, every once in a while you make some friends. Um, and, I'm not, you know, I'm not just talking about, oh, yeah, online friends, whatever. They're not real. Of course they're real. These are real people. You know how I know? Because a few of them have come to my doorstep and came and visited me and we've eaten together and drank together and have fun together. Those are real people. Just because I met them online doesn't mean they ain't real. So... <clears throat> I'm thankful for that. And yes, there have been times when I thought to throw in the towel and say, that's it, you know, I can't do this anymore. It's Friday nights. It ruins my whole weekend, basically, because I sleep all day Saturday, most of the day, and sometimes most of the night on Saturday night, too. It takes a lot out of me. Um, but I, I really don't think that that's a, an option at this point, quitting the cast. I think it needs to keep going. So that's the update on the live broadcast. Um, everything else is great. I mean, I've just had a great year. There have been a lot of um, milestones. I don't know. You know what? I, sh I shouldn't really be sitting here talking about myself. This is selfish. All right. You guys are very, very welcome to post down in the comments section um, what your year was like. What did you do this year? Did you accomplish something that you didn't think you would? Or did you have a, a shortcoming that you didn't think you'd have? And most of my shortcomings are just because of my own stupidity and my own worrying. You know, I worry about things I shouldn't worry about. And that those are the only bad things that have happened to me this year, are just a result of me worrying about stuff that I shouldn't. Hey guys, just want to take this quick opportunity to thank a couple people. I want to thank Susan. Um, I don't know if it's some, if it's Susan or who actually, who's actually watching my stuff or if it's her husband, I don't know, but thank you, Susan, for your kind donation. Um, I want to thank, uh, in case I forgot last week, I can't remember, Randy and Kate as well for theirs. And also last but not least, uh, Gerva, uh, Gerva's a very frequent, um, if not weekly, um, attendant to my live broadcast and, um, he sent me the pickled onions that I have been so much looking for. I cannot find... I can find those little pearly little pickled onions, the little tiny white ones that you put in a salad or something, but I cannot find, and I've been to three grocery stores, the big jars of the English-style pickled onions, the big beige-colored ones, brown, whatever color they are, beige. And so he found them, and he lives in Australia, and he sent them all the way to me here. And unfortunately, I can't show them to you because I've ate them. They're gone. Um, and he sent me a second jar with the white ones, but they were big, honking white things. And they're gone, too. <laughs> so thanks, Gerva, if you're watching. And uh, thanks to everybody for your kindness. And uh, let's get back to that guy. You guys are amazing. Um... The, I mean, it's just, it's just overwhelming and amazing to me to think that, that you guys uh, lost for words here. <laughs> the support that I get, the positive feedback that I get, the positive comments, the messages I get. I mean, it just seems to me like 
There's just a world full of absolutely kind, wonderful, amazing people out there. And I have been lucky enough to experience some of them. And that's you guys. I mean this, you know, I really do mean this. This is a, the last video of the year. Well, Homebrew Wednesday anyway. Probably the last video of the year. And I'm, not, I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm not going to sit here and cut this video and make it short. I'm telling you like it is. I'm very honored to have had the support and the views and the things that I've had over the, this pa over the past six, seven... God, how many years has it been? I started this in 2006. It was around 2007 when I actually started brewing on YouTube. You do the math. I'm afraid to. <laughs> um, so, all I can say is thank you. As long as you guys keep enjoying this, whatever it is I do, whatever I decide to do on this damn behind in front of this camera. I don't know what to I don't know what to say. Thank you. And it doesn't, you know, that's not all it is, just getting things from people. It's just that that's part of what's gone on over the years. Um means a lot to me. I'm going to close off. I'm sure there's a million more things I could say, but I'm going to I'm going to close it off by saying, you know, happy new year. I hope you had a great holiday. Um I'm I have this like warm fuzzy feeling inside of me right now cuz knowing that you guys care the way you do and support my the stuff I do I'm, it could partially be because of this stuff too the warm fuzzy feeling but I'm sure most of it is is because of you you and you alone um have made this channel what it is and if it wasn't for you this channel would be long long gone so, you know, I thank you, and if you enjoy what I do on here, then give yourselves a pat on the back for being the reason why this still exists. Um, and uh, be safe, and uh, carry on. 2016 is a good year for making some damn good beers. Are we ready? I am. Have a good New Year, guys. Thank you very, very much. And take care. Be safe. See you on the other side. As a matter of fact, we'll see you next year. Bye. Cheers.